Okay, we are gonna go through the marketing tab here. This is where all your marketing materials are, where you will send letters that go with your item of value and where you will send the free email blast every month. So I have not created many campaigns. I mostly stick with the item of value that I do the mailing each month and the email each month. And then um, I go from there. So one thing I wanted to show you real quick though, is you can go to marketing materials and you can see what the current item of value is that you're sending out and then you can see what's coming up and then you can see the archive so if there's any that you really like you can always download them as a pdf and have them printed out at office depot using your texas association of realtors discount and then you can put them in folders for the future or you can mail more out it will show you what cover letters are coming out in the past archive of the cover letters, your e-reports. This is the current e-report that can be sent out. And they've got some, usually this is not saying coming soon. This is just because the company is doing some extra stuff right now. You can also see what note cards, this is the current note card that got sent out. And this is the note card that's coming out next month. So, if you are in the coaching program, you can do some, they have some coaching tips over here as well. Ideas of ways you can do, use these different things. If you are going to print your letters, you would just go to print letters over here on the left. You will need to add your group. That's why you need to create a group and name it, whether it's mail, monthly mailer or item of value or whatever. You're going to select your group. I'm going to pick my IOV group. It's going to show everybody that's in it. And then I'm going to create my letter. So let's say it's the cybersecurity when working from home is the current letter that I'm going to pick. You can edit and create a, a, a letterhead over here. So I have created one for our side margin letterhead that um, allows me to print in a way that I could use my stationery. And then it's populated the letter. You can easily change your font size, your font names, anything like that. If you want to edit the letter, you can easily edit the letter. And then it will show your signature and all that. So you can, before you print it out, you can hit preview. And a preview is going to show up so that you can even maybe print that preview out and see if it will work for your letterhead. So that's how you do that. Now you can also print labels and you can, if you pay for the personalized marketing, you can do your personalized marketing here. I'm not gonna go through that now because that is an add-on feature. You can find Popeye tags. This is pretty fun. So this one you can um, filter like let's say you bought something, some kind of food item. And so maybe it's a summer food item type of thing. Um, you just click these, they open up as a PDF. You download that PDF if you don't have a printer. Once again, you can send it to Office Depot. So there's your pop by tags. Excuse me. Uh, you can, over here on the left, you can see if anybody's unsubscribed to your um, newsletter. It's not anything to break your heart. It's just so that you can take them, their email, take them out of that group. If you are sending out an email blast, this is where you would go. Once again, it's just like the letters. You add your group. So I'm going to choose email blast. Or maybe this is a, a special email that you're sending out to just certain people or maybe you're sending it out to you know, a different group, not your email blast. It doesn't always have to be the same group. If you are doing an individual person, you can do this. You select your email that you're sending out. Maybe I'm gonna send out the getting clarity during COVID-19. You can edit the subject line if you would like, and then it's going to create your salutation. There's your text that can be edited if you'd like. It's gonna show you the infographic and the signature. You can send this out as a test to your email 
and make sure you like how it looks before you send it out to your people, which I highly recommend. And that's how you do your marketing tab over here on the left.